Hey guys, welcome back to Turok Evolution. In the last part, we just finished up the uh, second chapter all in one video. And uh, now we are moving on to the beginning of chapter three. Now this little cutscene, you know, I'm just going to skip it. It's not important. As I've said, nobody plays Turok for plot, so yeah, let's just get on with it. Anyway, right up here on this little wedge, and now we get the snipe pistol. Uh, we get the sniper scope, and that lets your pistol have a sniping function, which is really cool. It's one of my favorite things about this game, is the fact that your pistol becomes your sniper. Anyway, there are two guys in there. Just go ahead and get headshots and just blow their heads off. Make quick work of those two. Get some more pistol bullets. And then run back in this area and touch that switch. And then run over here and get this switch. All right, and once you get those two, I get it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, once you get those two switches, um, that mouth passage thingy will open up, and now we can go through here. And I'm pretty sure once you go through here, it closes. Yep, closes behind you. Anyway, um, there will be guys up here on this ledge. Aha! There they are. Boom. Ah! Oh, I wanted to kill them all in one shot. That would have been awesome. Let's get you. Boom. When you're sniping from really far away, just that, even just that teeny, teensy little bit of movement, you know, from the, the sniper scope, even that can screw you up. Let's get some explosive arrows. Boom. Hey, I didn't kill the deer. Alright, yeah, okay, he's good. He's good and dead. Triple kill! Ugh. So, now you're cheering for dinosaurs now, huh? Oh my gosh. It's just startling. You're being annoying. Anyway, uh, get your sniper, get your snipe pistol, and uh, go ahead and shoot that guy. Get out of the way. Die. Now, a kind of funny thing about this uh, Stegosaurus thingy, you can actually shoot the air around it. The hit detection is, like, overdoing it. You can actually shoot the air, and it'll still bleed. We just murdered air. And right here we get a new weapon. We get grenades. I'm gonna tell you right now that these things suck. You see that? I missed by that much. Um, if you hit them directly with a grenade, it'll blow up on impact. But you also have to have, you know, you actually have to hit them. And that's a lot easier said than done, seriously. Anyway, um, these guys, ah, jeez. Um, let's see here. Close some arrow. Bam. Ooh. Uh, the guys, the red skinny guys, those are, dang it. Those guys are grenadiers. And if you kill them, sometimes they'll drop grenades, and then they can also just throw grenades at you. So, you may want to watch out for that. Ah, uh, here, let's get these. Right here, we get some more explosive arrows. Great, great. Because I freaking love explosive arrows. Um... Let's see, what do I want to use? I want to use the regular bow's explosive arrows. Boom. Down you go, sucker. And there's a ton of guys up here. At least I remember there being a ton. So there's our first instance of seeing these guys. At least I think it is. Dang it, come on. I know that we have seen green guys in the past, but not the green guys that uh, have shotguns. So anyway, just keep on going. Kill some more guys. And then... Um, there, you have to go pretty far in this area. Chapter 3 is where the game really starts to get, like, long chapters. Or long chapter segments, I should say. Dang it, just die. There, just shoot the, shoot the cliff below and in front of him. Oh, I had already pulled it back. I thought I still needed to pull it back. Die, jerk. Anyway, um... Go right in there and get some more grenades if you actually want the dumb things. Just tear those guys apart. I need to go back for health. Ah. Whatever you do, try not to fall off the cliffs because you'll die. Just saying. Anyway, one more pistol ammo. And a large med kit. And in case you're wondering, those birds, you can actually... No, wait, that's a pterodactyl. Okay, never mind. There are, like, these little tropical birds. Is that one? Yeah, there's one. Those little birds, you can't actually shoot them. Ah, I'm not good at it, though. And you can shoot pretty much if it moves, it can die. 
Seriously. Anything. Aha, good. Um, here, let's, uh, let's just get... No, no. Ugh. So wait a minute, I shot a poison arrow, but then I got an arrow back? How does that work? Alright, anyway. Just watch out for the red guys, because they're going to be throwing grenades at you the whole time. Not to mention the shotgun guys, because, you know, they've got spray. They can deal damage even if they do miss you. I die. I just don't want to die all the way up here at the top. Because we're pretty much already done with this area now. Um, there's just a few more guys left. Boom. Come on, just die. Um, who else is left? Let's kill you now. Ah, die. Go away. Stop hitting me. Jeez. They just give you way too many enemies here. Seriously. Snipe you in the face with a freaking poison arrow. Alright, you're dead. Good. And you're still puking up your, like, heart. Anyway, um, so that's about it for this part. That was pretty quick, I guess. I think it was. I mean, like, seven minutes, but whatever. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part.